breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Now, news report reaching us is that the North is very angry with Tinubu. And the reason why the North is angry with Tinubu is all revealed for us all to see. They now give us the reason, say, why is the North angry with Tinubu? Not be smart. Thing. So the other statesmen, they sit down and talk the matter, talking about Buhari, talking about, uh, you know, Babangida, all of them. They talk for the matter. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. All has been quiet on the Northern Front since President Tinubu came in and settled down. What made many to wonder what was going on was because everybody knew that it was the vote of the North that made Tinubu win the presidential election. So the expectation was that Tinubu would pamper, you know, and give the desires and wishes of the North. With the Muslim Muslim t joint ticket that won a lot of vote from the North, as their religious clergy and others move to ensure that the people voted in this regard. Many had thought that the Muslim Muslim North would be the greatest beneficiary from this from this power measure of Muslim Muslim. However, it does not seem like that. Up to the extent that the chairman of Sharia Council has come out plainly to tell Nigerians they regret ever, ever supporting such a move. When the Muslim Muslim joint ticket that won a lot of vote from the North was from the North, many thought that the North would benefit greatly from this. However, that is not the case. The message Tinubu has been sending to many of the geopolitical zones since he came in is that he wants to balance the equation. He has in the last he has in the last nine months shifted the balance of power. Yes, uh, such a way that it has truly balanced the cabal with all his appointments and from his body language, it is clear it is no longer business as usual as Tinubu has brought in professionalism into government to, all, to the efforts that much needed to change and is working in that regard. This has brought a lot of upset to the North. All these have made the North very uncomfortable. So less than a year of President Tinubu in power Key Northerners are beginning to come out to openly criticize some of the president's move and policies. These categories of people are getting worried with what they perceive to be a lopsided appointment towards the South. The general belief is that the current president took bulk of his vote in the North, so they felt they deserve more juicy appointment than those from the South. They stated, they stated that President Tinubu reshuffle security parastatus is not for their benefit. They have not enjoyed as much as they thought they would. One of the 21st of the 21 military, paramilitary and other allies security agencies in the country, only five people from the northern, north, central, southeast and south, south as the, as the head, a research analysis by P. Arrow Nigeria has shown. The fact that Southwest got a lion's share was a big headache to many of them simply because they are not used to that. Buhari has removed people from other areas and has positioned north in all the places when he was there. They are always favored whenever rules come, but Tinubu has done it quite differently. These are some of the juicy appointments which are now being occupied by Southerners. The Chief of Army Staff, Acting Inspector General of Police, Kayode, Acting Controller General of the Nigerian Immigration Service, Wari, Acting Controller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, Adeniye, and the Chairman of the Independent Corrupt Practice and Other Related Offenses Commission, Banji, all headed by Southwesternan. A few weeks back, another northern group came up 
came out to make their grievances known in relation to this group of northern elders had a privileged meeting with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to clear the air on the rumor which was, which was made known by another group. The group accused President Tinubu of deceiving them into the Muslim Muslim ticket only for him to get into power. The council accused the president of abandoning the Muslim community and working hard to of who worked out for his emergence as the president of Nigeria and focusing more on other faiths with juicy position. Christians has better position in Tinubu's administration than the perceived Muslim Muslim tickets. Mm -hmm. We don't we are nobody and we don't even have a say. General Secretary Malam no, Baba Hamed has was quoted to say we are strategic. We are strategic in mobilizing people, particularly Muslims, to support the Muslim Muslim ticket. But today, all that has been forgotten. Is as though we have no voice in all of this. This is a shame. We have not even been rewarded for the fight we fought. What a shame and what a disgrace. We will not allow this. So this is part of what is going on. This is part of what is happening. But I br bring it to you again that um, the governor of Kaduna State has, you know, come out and questioned some of these northern elders for their position with regards to Tinubu, saying, you are saying this, but there are some other headquarters who have, you know, some other agencies who have their headquarters in the north. All the military schools are in the north and nobody's saying anything. They are not in Abuja. You know, but nobody's saying anything, and he, he really chastised the North, saying they should go and sleep, they should stop disturbing Tinubu. He spoke a lot in regards to the current situation and how things are and how things can be done differently. What must be done? He says, So we cannot afford, you know, to be quiet, you know, and uh, keep, you know, allow these things to go on, you know, and, and say everybody is, you know, everything is just going on well, business as usual. I said, no, 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 no. That's not the way to go. That's not the way to go at all. You know, he said, so if things are going to be different, every single individual must come to understand this and then, um, you know, uh, you, you know, we must do everything humanly speaking needed possible to change and to avert some of this situ these uh, circumstances and ensure that the truth is being manifested. So whether you like it or not, there is a lot going on and every single person wants the truth, you know, in order to serve and to save the situation and to help the nation get better so that at the end of the day, we do not leave ourselves to chance. So whether you like it or not, we need to do the right thing. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now. Bye-bye.